black women breathe. What do you bring to the table? So hello to all of my cherry bombs. It is me, Cherry, and I'm back with another video. And in today's video, I really just want to talk about why black women are not allowed the white woman's hypergamy. Um, <laughs> I don't understand why we have to have this argument every other week. Here we go again. So. Um, before we get into this video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. Hit the thumbs up so that more people can find my content and my channel. And also turn on your post notifications because I am very sporadic with how I post. And if you don't have your notifications on, you will miss me more than likely because you should be hating. So, before I even start this video, I just want to... I want to read off something that I wrote on Facebook and a lot of people actually agreed with what I wrote and then also I put this same post on Twitter as well and I also put it on my Instagram just because I was like y'all I just want everybody to see this message like I want black women to see this message because I want us to do better because when you know better you do better and I just know that we're deserving so um, I'm going to read this to you guys real quick and then I'm going to go into talking about everything else that I want to cover during this video. This is not going to be a long video, just we just need to get to this right quick. So my post reads, let me just say this and I'm not about to argue with other efforts. I said what I said. If you're mad, go argue with your mama. So in the post I wrote, black women are notorious for out earning our male counterparts. We are also notorious for being highly educated, business owners, multiple degrees, etc. If we make too much, men are intimidated. If we make too little, we don't deserve shit, essentially. People really, <laughs> I'm so stupid. People are really on Beyonce's internet gassing a desperisha and a pigmisha for essentially saying, what do you bring to the table to deserve? Y'all, that saying itself to me is triggering but i'm gonna get to that okay anyway i said the problem with this question is it's often laced in misogyny in order to make black women feel as if we are asking for too much for wanting to experience anything above average this question is used to defend mediocrity and this part is really going to trigger some but let me also say White women aren't being asked this stupidity or arguing with it with their men, neither are most non-black women. We are the only ones, and then y'all gas this massage noir. If Caroline or Becky dream of being stay-at-home moms to a CEO, hedge fund portfolio manager, private equity investor, etc., nobody is giving them the side eye or deeming them undeserving. It's just a norm. They know it'll be done without issue and they will be living in a $2 million home with nothing more than a bachelor's degree in a field they never touched, getting to open the door for that TikToker and say, I'm a wife for a living. All bills, cars, lifestyle completely taken care of because it's expected. And that goes for various tax brackets of, of men providing for non-black women without question. Other women are allowed the spaces to be more submissive or more soft because they wholeheartedly can trust that their men will provide without question. They aren't on social medias arguing with their male counterparts about what they bring to the table to deserve it. Alpha men do not ask you stupid questions really disguised as, why should I be a provider? They just get it done. This is a beta mentality. Black men complain black women aren't soft, black women aren't feminine, black women aren't submissive. The list goes on. Black women aren't given the space to be those things. Again, we are notoriously out, we notoriously out earn our counterparts and are constantly asked and expected to take charge. And this is coming from someone who runs multiple businesses and makes my own, but I shouldn't even have to clarify in order to justify why I or any black woman deserves to date up. 
black women you deserve hypergamy please stop letting men who don't see the value in you deem you undeserving of it thanks for coming to my TED talk so let's unpack some of this you guys okay um it has literally gotten to a point where the whole like what do you bring to the table question is being used to like being weaponized against black women and anytime we ask for anything that is above the bare minimum anytime that we realize the bar is in hell and we say damn this bar is really in the pits burning in the depths of hell um i don't think i want to burn in hell anymore with with this low ass bar like i think i deserve some you know i, I think i deserve to be in the clouds you know Anytime we dare to want better for ourselves, it is, oh, what do you bring to the table? Why should I treat you a certain type of way? And it's crazy to me that it's almost like black women are expected to put on this huge, it's, it's like we have to put on this big magic show in order to be deemed worthy of, of literally y'all, regular ass treatment. It's regular treatment. It's not super outlandish shit. Um, I think social media has kind of misconstrued people to think that if we're asking for nice things, we are thinking, oh, buy me a Birkin bag or, you know, whatever the whatever the hell. But the, the issue is, it's to the point where black women wanting anything that is of luxury or nice or anything um, has become such a trigger for people because we are waking up and realizing that we too deserve these things. It's such a trigger that at this point we can't even ask for regular shit. A black woman could literally say, oh, I just want somebody to take me to a nice dinner at a five-star Michelin restaurant, um, everything paid for, and I want to do an activity as well. And these bitter ass men are like oh what are you to deserve that because you pay for that restaurant on your own I, 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 whatever and my thing is regardless of if, if she can or can't which a lot of the time we can that's why we're fucking asking for it but in the event that she can't my issue is when it comes to like a caroline or a becky or a samantha nobody is saying if they can't afford it themselves and they don't deserve it and they are shooting for the stars and they're asking for too much for wanting it out of somebody else in my post like i said um you know a caroline can go into a marriage with a rich ceo and say her dream has always been to be a yoga instructor and that is her passion and she knows that that passion isn't even going to get her 40k a year she is able to do that and still marry the ceo and nobody gets her the side eye like oh my god what why why did she even think that she was deserving to marry this this um seven figure ceo man when she doesn't even make 50k a year like what did she do to deserve that like why would she feel like that that was okay for her to do it's literally and i had a white woman comment on my facebook and say literally agree with me and say you know like it was expected of her by her family and her peers to date up it's expected of them to date up so they're not looked at crazy or given the side eye when they date up regardless of their financials it's itself it's not looked at crazy it's not looked at sideways um same for hispanic women asian women they're all you know expected to date up that is the goal and their men are expected to provide and they understand this and so they do so um with black women it's just a a ton of things like with black women it's like we when we out earn our men then it's oh you guys are too hard you're too masculine y'all don't know how to submit um this that and the third when we make less then it's oh you're a fucking bum ass bitch how dare you want better for yourself and you don't make this amount and you don't own a business and you don't make six figures and what do you do to deserve that because you not ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, whatever so it's like it's it's like it's crazy to me that you know other races of women are allowed the spaces to be submissive they're allowed the spaces to be soft they're allowed the spaces to be um feminine all those things because they are not expected to take charge they're not 
they're taught to let a man take care of certain things to let a man take care of you to date up and to date a man that can provide for your lifestyle they're taught that and nobody looks at them crazy for that again Becky and Caroline can be yoga instructors or own a yoga studio or whatever the case and not even make a quarter of what their man makes and nobody is like oh well, why was she deserving of that you have these like for example the women who are on TikTok and and that guy is going around he's saying oh like what do you do for a living and they're opening the doors to these super nice houses or they're driving these nice cars and these women are responding I'm a wife and nobody's in the comments like oh you gold digging ass bitch that's a gold digging ass bitch they are literally like yes get it you know that's how you do it da, 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 whatever whatever they're very happy for them if those were black women opening those doors and saying the same thing it would literally be an attack on black women by black men because the bar is in hell um oh that's what i'm talking about y'all just want to live off us that's some bum ass shit ah uh, what do y'all do what do y'all do it's like oh okay well i can't provide you with that so how dare you that you want that from me or anybody else so what do you bring to the table to want that real alpha men don't ask these questions um and as triggering as this is gonna be what i realize is as much as i personally i love black men i love dating black men um this video is not to bash y'all it's just literally to hold y'all accountable i'm not sorry if it triggers you oh well and and this is not just for me this is for me and friends my experiences going on dates um excursions whatever with black men versus men of other races are two completely different experiences and um to because i think somebody on twitter this guy on twitter i can't remember what exactly it said but he definitely was subbing me um and he was like he said something of the nature of why why don't y'all have these rich men that y'all be talking about it was just something like that and the honest answer as triggering as this may be is because i went back to fucking with niggas that's why when i was dating and i was dating um white men honestly completely different i wasn't being asked oh what do you bring to the table for me to take you to this nice ass restaurant that you've never been to in a part of the city that is just expensive as all hell it wasn't it was there were no questions asked he picked the restaurant he said oh i know i know a nice actually no 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 he gave me three options and let me pick and all three were nice as hell also as far as what i said about um running a business and all this other stuff it's like why as a black woman do i have to feel like in order for me to comfortably say oh i would like to date hypergamously i deserve to date hypergamously um I want to date somebody who is beneficial to me like I do somebody who has the money to if I have an idea they can invest in my idea because they have the funds um, along with myself but also but why do I even feel the need to clarify oh along with myself I have it too let me make sure they know that I have it too because otherwise I'm deemed a bum bitch Becky doesn't have to have the funds too she doesn't have to clarify that she that she has or doesn't have the funds she can literally she can openly say I don't have the funds and I want a rich man who has the funds because this is what I want to do and I want him to fund it. Nobody questions it. Nobody questions it. Me, if I say anything relatively to the sort, I would get grilled. I would get grilled. What do you, why do you deserve that? Why do you think you deserve that? Uh, uh, uh. Even in what I said, I even said, why do I feel like I have to clarify that I'm a business owner, that I make my own money in order to be deemed deserving of, of dating up i shouldn't have to say all that in order to be deemed deserving and it's not because that shouldn't be something i want for myself because those are just things i want for myself i do the things that i do business wise because i just personally want a certain lifestyle regardless of man or not i just i want a certain lifestyle but why should i have to clarify when the next woman doesn't why is it only me as a black woman us as black women we have to clarify that why do we have to clarify like oh well i have enough going for myself to be deemed worthy so i mean don't attack me after i say this because i i have things going for myself and it's crazy the concept of providing 
is such a trigger at this point um and I remember I was reading me and my friends we have a book club and so we've been every um month we have a book that we read for the month and our first book was we real cool by bell hooks and in the book it was saying and i think i'm pretty sure i said this in another live of mine but it was basically saying that a lot of black men don't necessarily care who is um who makes the most money in the household as long as they can control the money as long as like they're in control of the household then it doesn't really matter so in turn it has kind of turned into American black society has turned into a very matriarchal um, society like we don't want to take these more masculine roles we do not want to be in these roles that we are forced to be in we don't ask for it this is something that we're having to argue every other freaking week i remember saying in another maybe it was a live i think it was definitely a live i remember saying in another live um and talking about the fact that even when it comes to i can't remember how this topic came about people trying to down the looks of black women like or as far as like us letting ourselves go when we get in um after we have kids and stuff like that whatever the case may be and i remember saying a lot that again with men with other races of women with their men allowing them the spaces to unto to to trust that their partner will provide um i remember saying that it's crazy because when you look at lifestyle wise a lot of the time these same black women are that people are down their throat for like oh she don't look the same after she has kids okay she had kids she's married but she's still working a job, as is her partner. Um, and not only is she working the job, even though it's two people in the home, she's expected to come home from work and then also take care of the kids, cook, clean, do everything around the house while the partner can go to work and then chill. So where is her time to get her nails done, to keep her lashes done, to keep her hair looking nice, to um, keep her body in shape, to go to the gym, to do yoga, whatever she else she might want to do. Then you have other women who it's like, they know that literally their partner is going to get it done. So they're not working. So after they drop the kids off during the day to daycare or wherever, to private school or wherever the hell, they can go get their fillers done at the office for the day or whatever they want to do. They can go do their hot yoga sessions. They can go take a swim class. They can go biking, hiking, or whatever the case may be to stay in shape in order to remain looking good. They can go get their hair done, their nails done, um, because they have that time while their kids are in school because they're not working. Because they have a partner who is providing that lifestyle for them. That same lifestyle that people will willingly provide for other races of women and then tell us that we don't deserve. And what's crazy to me as well is oftentimes these same men, these black men who deem us undeserving, they, before they approach a Caroline or a Becky, they will make sure that they are on their level in order to even approach them. They will not try to bring them down to their level. They'll say, oh, this is what she requires, this is what's required to date her, so I need to be here or i need to be here before i even approach her otherwise she's not going to give me the time of day they respect those requirements they do what they need to do to either either they don't date her and they say you know what i can't i can't do that or they get to her level and then they pursue her with black women it, we're the only ones where it's like oh how dare she be on that level and you know want me to be the same or higher like oh she need to just take what she's given she need to set these crumbs and set these scraps she need to come down to me nobody else has asked that why is it just us why is it that if if we dare to want more it's like this like how dare you like you want better for yourself how dare you and i'm really tying a lot of this into as far as like the be simone thing too because <sighs> be simone does not rub me the right way she is a pick me ass bitch one second she's here, one second she's all the way on the other side. One second you was talking about some manifest your dream man and you don't want to date anybody who, you know, you want a rich man, rich nigga, da da da, da. this is what you want, that's what you require, oop de -woo, oop de -woo. 
then on this other hand you over here bringing a oh what do you bring to the table ass bitch and i'm not saying that people shouldn't bring something to the um to a relationship as far as like because the thing is with what she said recently it's not even what she said that is um an issue it's the fact that her audience is black women and that we are the only ones constantly 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 y'all feel the need to remind us of this when it's already common knowledge that you need to bring something as far as like and that's not even necessarily financially like fiscally that's more so just a if I want to date somebody, am I mentally sound to date them? And I, am, am I in a good place mentally to date somebody? Am I going to be able to bring them peace? Or am I still at, have a lot of turmoil within myself going on? Do I have shit that I need to work on? Do I have insecurities that I need to work on before I pursue the next person? Is my space going to benefit the next person? Or do I need to work on my space before I try to pursue another person? There's nothing wrong with that where it where it loses me is again y'all are not requiring this of other women y'all aren't again these same men even even when it comes to a black woman could be a business owner everything and be in the same dating pool as again a white woman who might just be like a yoga instructor or whatever and there's nothing wrong with that but those are two different like when it comes to financially you're making two different things these men will still step up in order to be able to provide a certain lifestyle for the yoga instructor if she wants a luxury lifestyle and for the next woman if she if she asks for or requires a luxury lifestyle even though she can provide it for herself and it's really the fact that one party whether or not they can provide it for themselves these men are willing to provide for them regardless of them proving if they can do it themselves or not the other party us black women have to prove that we can provide it ourselves in order to for it to somehow be socially acceptable for men to do it for us as well just say you can't do it and go on if that's not something you pro can provide then just say that and just keep it pushing also with men why would you even show interest in a woman you didn't see the value in because if you are asking her this question then you don't see her value so why are you pursuing her if you cannot provide that lifestyle that is fine but that does not mean that she is not deserving of that lifestyle because you can't provide it it's simple it's crazy because these same men feel like they are entitled to our bodies our time our energy our space whether they are bringing what well, whether they themselves are willing to bring anything to the table or offer anything you want to us but we can't we can't turn to and ask you for anything but you're entitled if if we don't if we don't f off on you we're approved we're boring we're this we're that y'all want all this stuff under the sun from us but if we dare ask you for anything in return is what do you do what do you bring to the table to be asking me for that i'm i'm sorry but y'all i'm just not i'm literally not and never have given this pussy to a what do you bring to the table ass nigga and i'm not going to i'm literally not going to i'm not going to do some type of performance to prove that i deserve basic things basic treatment just in order for you to treat me nice i'm not doing that women as women we literally walk through the valley of death to bring life into the world and i know i've said this before we walk through the valley of death there's so much risk associated with as a woman more so because when it comes to stis we oftentimes we're the ones who show symptoms we're more susceptible to getting them when it comes to giving birth we can literally lose our life giving birth um, there are STIs that regardless of having a condom or not, you can still get them. So you mean to tell me that we're expected to take all this risk for you, that we're supposed to be effing and sucking and doing all this stuff, bending over back, doing all this stuff for you, for a man that we can't ask for anything? For a man who feels like in order for you to take me on a nice date, then I need to prove to you what I bring to the table, but you don't need to prove shit in order to us that's partly where y'all be losing me too 
we should on it's 2021 ladies please don't be giving up your cat to a what do you bring to the table ass man please don't that is a very beta mindset i'm telling you alphas do not spend time going back and forth asking that shit they don't all in all b simone is a pick me ass desperation pick me ass bitch um her energy is very annoying her voice is annoying everything about i really i'll be on youtube trying to be a lot nicer than y'all honestly know but i'm about to just drag everything about this bitch is annoying as f from the way she looks to the way she talks to her mentality everything is annoying as f and the fact that she's really gassing this misogynistic ass um mindset and y'all are gassing it with her is truly disgusting it's really weird um she's very weird to me like very very cringy she was just kissing the asses of latina women but like last month basically saying that they had the upper hand on black women and now there are black women literally caping for this bitch saying oh well there's nothing wrong with that nah, 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 nah. she nah, 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 nah. and this is gone just just kissing her ass and again it's not necessarily what she said it's that it's the tone it's your target audience it's the fact that people are constantly um pushing this argument onto us in order to force us to accept the bare minimum and i'm over it this is your tape Danny had her tape this is your tape and honestly clearly I'm just going to have to be a um, part of my channel it's just gonna have to be a dragging these two I'm celebs are stupid I just let me not say because uh, there are a lot of them that are that are smart but a lot of them are just very stupid is what I'm really um have come to understand in the last like probably I would say like the last like two years just really understand how stupid these are like it's literally truly dumb um and out of touch with anything outside of their realm <sighs> but yeah that's that's all i'm gonna say for now you guys again i'm trying to keep this video short i really said the bulk of what i wanted to say in my post and you can take it or leave it i really don't care i'm out please like comment and subscribe um and if you come under this post i literally trying to argue i don't get paid to argue with you um because if you're arguing about anything i'm saying then you're not the type of man that i want to date anyway and you're not the type of man that i put myself in circles with so with that being said i am out